Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully display our portfolio in our home page, right? So right now I want to do, I want to add this portfolio page. That means this portfolio that is actually also another one as a portfolio. So here I want to do, I want to load our, this template. So that is our template, one of the page. So here I want to load it. So how can do that work in this video? I will show you that things with a live example. So for doing this, first of all, we have to do, we have to add one of the um, route for this one. So here we have to add that link. So that is in our font end. So if you go our project, so right now that is a home blade. We don't need this about controller will be needed. Edit, I remove it, the sidebar, I remove it. Okay. That is our index. So that is actually index. So also we don't need this, I remove it. So now in our home page, if you go to our view, into the view right now, we want to work in our home front end. So into the front end, if you go to that layout, into the body, into the body here, you can say have already separated our footer, header, and the slider. So if you open that our header, into the header, you can see that is all that our menu, right? That is actually our menu. So into the menu area, that is a portfolio. So first of all, I want to do, I want to create one of the route for this one. So here I remove it and I want to create one of the route. I think you already know about it as a route. So route will be as a, I want to create, I just name it as a portfolio. Okay. With the same name, I name it one of the route as a portfolio. Perfect. So now we have to do, we have to create this route, right? So now go to our web route here um, after this. After this home, I better copy it. I want to take another one that will be as a portfolio route. Okay, that will be as a portfolio page route. Page route. Perfect. So here I want to do I want to better copy it. Okay, copy one of the things from here. It will be as a get method. And then I name it as a same. I name it as a um, that is actually I name it as a portfolio. So I name it as a portfolio, it will be as a portfolio and then the portfolio, right? And also you can create some of the another controller for this one. So right now I don't want to create any, any controller. So in our about controller, I want to create one of the method as a portfolio. Okay, friend. So for education purpose, I'm using it, but better to create one of the another controller. And here for the portfolio, all the things you have to add it into this controller area. So right now I'm using that um, about controller. So into the about controller, I want to create this method that will be as a portfolio. So better I make it as a capital portfolio. So this method I have to create in our about controller, go to our about controller. So here I want to do, I want to create it as a public and then function and then our portfolio method, right friend? How much is it? Is it? I think you enjoy it very much. So that is our portfolio method. So into the portfolio method, what exactly we have to do? We have to return one of the view page, right? That means when any user click in particular, this uh, portfolio, it will be redirect, redirect to one of the view page. So for the reasons here I want to do, I want to create one of the view page better. So that is our body, mm, that is our layouts, and that is our view. So into the view area, I want to better create one of the folder. Okay, I want to create one of the folder. So into the view folder here, I want to create another folder and name it as a pages. So that will be as a pages. So into the pages folder, I want to create one of the page and I just name it as a portfolio. Okay, that will be one of the portfolio portfolio dot blade dot php so this type of one of the page i simply created okay friend so now i want to do i want to add this portfolio page that means here it will be as a return and then view so here it will be as a in our which position it will be in our hmm, pages that means I have created one of the view into the view area. I have created one of the pages and that is actually a portfolio, right? So now I name it as a pages, pages, and then our file name as a portfolio, portfolio. Perfect. So right now here, what exactly we have to do? So we have to actually get this data, right? So I have already did this work in our web route you can see into the web route before for our home page i get all the data with the images with our model so right now better i copy it so it will be just like that same here i take one of the variable with our model so make that sure you add this model 
so here i didn't add this model so you have to use it so our model name our model name is a multi picture so that will be our model name right so i have already created this model for our multi images so that is our model as a multi pix right so make that sure you add it so now with this we can actually use it so now with this multiple picture i get all the data and return view our pages and portfolio page so now if you want to pass this all data from your database and if you want to pass it you have to pass it with the compact right so now with this compact i want to pass this data that means he get all the data from our who is table is get all the data from our this table that is all that images data here i get it and take the things with this variable and now i pass every data in our portfolio page so that is our portfolio page so that in the portfolio page i want to do it will be like as if you go to our um, i want to do that is actually i have created as a master so that is a master one right and if you go to our home into the home here you can see that is a clever extended so i copy it so it will be extended or layout master home and also here we have to end this section that means the end and the section so that will be as the end section right so that is our end section so now if you click as a save all if you now click as a save all and now it should be work now click as a refresh and now go to our portfolio yes you can see friend it's now perfectly getting our three things it's now getting our header it's now getting our slider it's now getting our this footer right so here we have to do i don't want to actually load our this slider so our slider only will be visible in our home page but here you can see i already extended our layouts master so if you go to our layout master and that will master home and here you can see i include that body header i include that our slider and also include that our body that means the footer so for the reasons it's actually getting our three things that is a header slider and the footer you can see it's not showing as a header slider and the footer so i only want to do our in our home page only our home page or this slider will be visible okay not that our master one so for this one here better i cut it i cut it from to this position i want to visible only slider in our home okay that means that is actually our home so after that master here i want to do and to load it okay so now this slider only visible in our home page and after that there is our home content section if you now click as a save all now if you refresh you can see into the master they have only two option as a header and there is a clear footer right but if you go to our home if you go to home click as a enter now you can see friend it's now successfully getting our this slider so only slider is visible in our home page okay so that is our portfolio page into the portfolio page that is only header and footer so now into the body area that means in our this um, that is actually content that is our main el part that is our main uh, dynamic part right so here i want to do and to load our template if you go to our theme into the theme that is our portfolio.html if you now open it so that is our portfolio right so here i only want to take our this part so after that header after that header from to this position and before that footer i want to get this part so if you want to get this part that is our portfolio.html so right now i want to do and to open it with our editor so into this editor here i don't need this i don't need this header part and that is the, our main id you can see that is actually the main id so after that main id that is our main part so that is our portfolio section so from here i copy everything okay i copy everything from to this position and you can see there is an and main main menu so now from to this position i ca copy it so that is our main part so that is our main part so that will be our el part right so when i copy it and now into the portfolio here i paste it so friend here it will be just like that same here we don't need this i only want to add need one so better i remove everything i only want to take one okay so that is actually our take one so i remove it perfect so that is the our main part here i want to make it dynamic so here we don't need this i remove it so i have already passed get all that our data and i take the things with this variable so that is our variable right friend and now we can actually access it in our portfolio page so here we have to do the same as per our home page so here i only want to do i want to add one of the for each 
that means the for each and also we have to end this for each so that will be as the end for each and for each right so into the end for each here i want to do i want to take it as a um, i get all i already get all the data and pass it with this images so that means with this variable so with this variable i want to make it as image okay as image so this type of order the name so now with this image i want to visible all that our database field name so i remove it it should be with this image i want to display our database field name our database field name is uh as a again as a image right so that is actually image so now i want to do an access as an image and then also here i want to update that part that means that will be our another one i updated this part okay so here we don't need this that is actually another link so i remove it and if you want don't want to remove you want to add another link you can remove it from to this position perfect now let's check this out if you now click the save all so that is our hmm, part that means our broadcrumbs is visible perfect now if you click on here and if you go and refresh it yes you can see friend now our this part is totally dynamic that means that is actually our portfolio page and that is our portfolio all the portfolio is visible if you click as a uh, here is successfully loaded right it's now successfully loaded our all that slider perfect so here how can update that part you can see friend now that is actually totally dynamic part so you can actually manage it from your back end okay so here we successfully complete our portfolio so in our next video i'm going to discuss about that contact page and if you go to our template if you go to that contact into the contact here you can see friend that is on the location i also want to make it as a dynamic that means the location will be dynamic email will be dynamic the call will be dynamic and that is actually one of the contact form so from here i want to insert this data in you know, the database and then i want to manage everything uh, from our backend so we can do that work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video